All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Dropbox with clients and how to set up file requests and get it so that you can either invite your clients to join a Dropbox folder or if you'd rather not invite them, how to set that up as well. So from dropbox.com, you're gonna to go to your files and you're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it clients. And this is where all of your clients are gonna live. Um, and so within there, that's where you're going to put your client, whatever their name is or their business, um, right there. And within that folder, you're going to actually create two folders. You're going to create an internal files folder. This is the folder that just you or you and your team will use with all of the source files and anything that you use um, during the project, as well as any of the files um, that you want to keep after the project. So none of the finished files, things like uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, and design files, the things that you'll use if your client ever came back to you and needed some revisions or needed you to update something or they lost the files. This is the file folder that you'll actually keep um, on the on your on your files and stuff. Um, so we're gonna go back here to client name. So we've got the internal files. And now we're gonna create the client share folder. So this is really, you can name this whatever you want. You can name it um, file or from client name or whatever you need to show mostly inside, like these are the files coming from your client. Um, and at this point, we're just gonna put it as access to only you, just so that you can set this whole folder up before you share it with everyone. So within this folder, you can create as many folders as you want. Um, the more folders that you create, if you're not inviting someone to, you're going to need to create a file request per folder. Um, because with file requests, it only, it doesn't show the client where they can put their files and be able to create new folders and stuff. Basically, you're just giving them a direct link to a folder to just dump all of their files. Um, so depending on what kind of files you need from your clients, that's something to consider. So with this folder, I'm going to make it the images folder, only you. And in there, you can always create more subfolders, but keep in mind, that means that you'll need to create more file requests. So right now, the client folder has the, this is all they'll be able to access. So right now, they've got their images folder and say their branding folder. So if they're coming to you with branding, um, that's where they would drop all their branding. And from here, you can either create a folder for documents to like to store all of the documents, or you can just let them loose in here. Um, typically I just let them loose because at this point there really, it shouldn't be too many documents. Um, and with the integration that Dropbox has now, you can click create new file. And in here you can add a shortcut. So add a URL and name it. You can add Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides for what, um, if you're going to invite someone to the folder, then it's really easy. You just need to create a Google Doc, and this does not link up to your actual Google Drive account. It's basically just using the interface from Google Drive to create the Google Doc. So anything in that gets saved in here is only getting saved in Dropbox. It's not actually syncing to your Google Drive account. So in here, you can have it be your copy workbook or whatever content you need from them. You can set up your template, put it in here. And once you're in Dropbox, you can see it's popping up in here. And if you've invited the client to it, they'll be able to add their folder or add their images and stuff, content, open this up, and this will be what they see. So it's a full working Google Doc, all ready to use. If you are not going to be sharing a folder or any of this with a client and like inviting them, what you're going to need to do is create a new file, file, but first you're going to need to go into Google Drive and set up a Google Doc. Um, and so with that, to do that, so to do that, what you'll do is you're going to go to Google Drive and wherever you want to store all your files. So if you had a folder like this that says clients, then you're going to put it in clients and you're going to create a brand new Google Doc. 
or duplicate it if you have a template already, whatever you normally do when you're setting up a Google Doc. From here, you'll need to name it. And then what you'll do is you're gonna click on share in the top right corner, and we're gonna name it Untitled. Um, and you're gonna come down here to the bottom called Advanced, and you're gonna change who has access to anyone with a link and can edit. So anyone who has this specific link will be able to access it. So you wanna make sure that ne doesn't necessarily have private information like logins, unless that's okay with you or your client. Um, typically I have uh, logins come to me via a Dubsado form or via LastPass, um, just in case someone gets these links, um, which is super rare, but that's my little two cents on that. But link sharing, you want it to have anyone with the link can edit. Do not set it to be public. Anyone on the internet can find it without needing to sign it. You don't want that. You want anyone with the link. So this means that if the email gets forwarded or sent to someone on your client's team, they would be able to access this document. So you would then save it. And this link here is the one that you're going to copy and you're gonna go back into Google or into Dropbox. You're gonna click create new file, shortcut, paste that link in there and call it the copy workbook or whatever document it is. And you'll create it. So essentially what's gonna happen here is if once your client, you've sent this, you've created this link. So to do that, let me back up for a sec. You're gonna click share and you're gonna create a link. So by doing this, it's a view only link. So anyone will be able to view the contents that are in this folder, or if you're inviting them, you can invite them. But if they're only being able to um, view it, this is the link that they'll get, and they're only gonna have a download or view access to it. Um, and so they'll be able to click on this link here, and it will open up this Google Doc here because it's linked to Google Drive where we have set this thing so that anyone with the link can edit. If you had this, it would show up as a view only document, which is why we had to create the web link through Google Drive. So if you are um, not inviting, you're only doing the view only link, the next thing you want to do is come over to file requests now that you've set up your folder. And in here, you're going to request files and you're gonna give your request a name. So whether it's client name images or client name branding, whatever it is, just so that your client, this is more on the client side. So they know what kind of folder they're uploading to. So if it's a photographer, client name images dash seniors, that way they know they're only uploading senior photos or it's a specific product or a service or something, whatever it is, Make sure that this title here is very clear for your clients. From here, this is the internal part for you. So this is where you're gonna change it and you're gonna go over and you're gonna find the folder that you just set up and you're gonna select the folder where you want all of those files to go. You're gonna choose it and you can always set a deadline if you'd like. Um, and basically after that date, they can't upload files. I leave it off just for the duration of the project. From there, you'll click next. You'll get an email notification saying that you have set up a new file request. And from here, you're gonna copy this link. And then you're gonna click done. And we're gonna go back into that file that we started to create for our clients. And in here, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new file. And it says upload, oops, wrong place. So that's where you're doing it, upload images here. And then you can always say upload brand or say headshot images here, whatever type of images. So make it really clear for your clients what you need them to do in this link. You'll create that. And in here, they'll be able to upload, I'll click on this, and so if we click on this link, you can then see someone wants to add you file or wants you to add files, what kind of files, 
choose them from computer or Dropbox and that's all they have to do. They'll then be able to drag and drop any folder or files they want and upload them there. They will then appear in the folder that you selected. They won't be able to upload files directly here. I tend to put all of the links and stuff here so that the clients can see all of the things they need. And that's pretty much how I set it up. If you're emailing clients telling them, hey, I just need you to upload files, you can just send them these links directly along with the workbook. And at the very end, you could just send them this whole file and then archive it. But that's how um, you can set up the whole folder and get all of those fun new little integrations all set up.